And now we have the biggest story of the day. The possibly one of the largest AI inventions of genre this defining. year. Yeah, genre defining. YouTube Music now lets you make your own playlist art with AI. Playlist art. Mm-hmm. Ah, so you make a playlist. And you're like, I don't want just one of the albums to be the whole playlist. I want to make my own art. I think Spotify and YouTube Music both do it as the first four songs in the playlist. Yep. It basically just makes like a stupid grid with those four album arts. Exactly. Um, but now <laughs> you can make your own with AI. This really, really hmm. feels like one of those things where this new technology comes out specifically with AI. New generative Generative AI comes out and everyone's just like, we don't like we didn't like have a need for this but everyone's doing it so we have to figure out how to fit it in but i gotta have an ai feature yeah i kind of like the silly ones like this though because then it's not like it's not some like random one that's potentially spreading misinformation through like incorrectly making sources look bad this is just like a fun thing you can do and i like it okay so this is just a quick aside i upgraded to chat gpt plus for a month just because i wanted to like see if i could actually start to integrate it into my workflow at all Mm -hmm. and it comes with dolly three dolly got rid of the little like dolly um watermark watermark in the bottom corner they don't do it anymore and like i know that's easy to remove but it seems weird that they just decided to stop using it that does because now you have no way to know that it's like ai generated is that because you went to the paid account or because it's Dolly 3. You can only use Dolly 3 if you have a paid account. I th- and I thought it was supposed to always do the watermark as like a preventative feature. Yeah, just like a little watermark. Like if you're just going to turn around and tweet this with a screenshot, just like immediately you can see that watermark. Yeah. Like, okay, this is generated by Dolly. They got rid of it. But I think they were the only ones to even do it in the first Which place. Which wasn't yeah. probably true. Which is not great. Like Runway <laughs> doesn't have yeah. the watermark. Yeah. I mean, probably Make true, journey. but at least it was like goodwill. You know, it was like... It, it kind of exemplifies this whole thing, right? Like at the very beginning, everyone's being really careful. Everyone's being really cautious. They release this thing. They're just like, this is how it works. Uh, it's not very good. There's a watermark. And then when the rest of the industry just blows up and start use it, <laughs> think, starts using it, all the roadblocks just get yeah, taken Bing away. Yeah, comes in like a wrecking ball and everyone's like, all right, you can talk to our features now. It'll just <laughs> say whatever stuff you to want. You. But, yeah. but think about how much less funny Mr. Chetto would be with a little watermark in the bottom. I don't know what you're talking about. What's, what's Mr. Cheddar? Just Google Mr. Cheddar. It's just a mid-journey. It's a mid-journey image that turned into a meme that's just ungodly. <laughs> exactly. Wait, that's a mid-journey image? Think about how much less funny that would be if wow. it said mid-journey at the I had bottom. no idea that was a mid-journey image. <laughs> that's amazing. I, I like, though, how Stuart. early on Dolly was like, here's these pictures we're creating that are very obviously fake because we can kind of get the idea going on. yeah that has a watermark to prove it's fake but now that we're really good and ultra believable well, let's take I it i know it was like <laughs> they couldn't do hands before and now they can do hands perfectly and they take away their watermark it's like <laughs> nice. what is going on it feels backwards nobody is concerned about this now um, Wait, anyway. okay speaking of things that felt the need to add ai but kind of in a tasteful way have you guys tried this spotify dj Wait, 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 wait. Before we get to that, I have that written down, but can we talk about the YouTube music thing really quick? Just how it works? Yeah. yeah, So pretty much when you have the album art, you can, you don't get to do a full prompt. Basically, there's categories like animals and travel and landscape and colors. And then you click onto that. And then through that, you get a couple more things like in the style of Renaissance painting or in the style of just like the generative wallpapers on. Yeah. So like you don't get to fully do the prompt of like Big Bird with a gun. You have to kind of do something (laughs) a little more like reasonable. Yeah. But before we get to that, I just want to know, David, if you were doing your bangers only playlist, AI generated album art. I'm asking GPT what it should be. That that is a really difficult question. Okay, I'll let you think on that because... It would be boring if it was just like sound waves or some headphones, but like it would be risque if it was anything else. So I'm asking GPT-4. Okay. Okay. And while you do that, I know you mentioned Spotify DJ the other day. Spotify, it's not one of those things where it's like Spotify, you don't have to do AI. Like I know AI is popping off, but not everyone has to do it. But Spotify managed to uh, decide to make a pretty useful, interesting AI feature. Next to all the rest of my playlists or whatever, there's just a DJ button. You hit it and Mm -hmm. it's this... AI generated uh, voice. Hey, how you doing? Good to have you here. You're with your DJ X. Gonna get right into it today with the trip down memory lane. 
The year was 2016, and these were. Some I'm your DJ. I'm gonna yeah. walk you through some songs. Here, I'm gonna start off with some summer hits that you listen to, and some new stuff to keep you on your toes. You eventually get through the same like you start hearing the same it's things my biggest over and problem over again. With it, yeah. But as a DJ, functionally, it's actually pretty good. I noticed it starts fading in and out songs. At the beginning of the chorus, if I've heard the song a lot, it won't play the entire song. It'll fade in, oh. play the first two verses instead of all three, and then fade out to the next one. But if it's a new song I've never heard before, it'll let me hear the entire song. And it's really eerily good at fading in and out at the correct point in the song. Mm. And I think that's also AI, and I'm pretty impressed. It's pretty good. That's impressive. So I, I've been using it a lot. It I sounds think like it's gotten a lot better since it first launched. I mean, I haven't tried it recently. It still but. is the same voice for everyone. It still goes, "Hi, my name is X. Yeah, I'm gonna be your DJ for a while. Yeah. Here's some songs to keep you on your toes." Yeah. Just, I think my biggest thing. problem was just like it is just those like four playlists that it recommends to me on my homepage every day, and just like with a, a silly little interlude in between of like you listen to this in it's the been, summer, yeah, and it's, it's the winter, so listen to it now so, while you're getting depressed by the early <laughs> sunset. There's been a couple of uh, interesting themes that it's chosen one of them was we're just going to give you a bunch of canadian rappers which is like okay it's just drake and <laughs> then one of them was here's a bunch of songs from artists you used to listen to a lot but there were different songs by those same artists okay. i thought that was interesting there was another one that was here are some of your like top hits from summer and i don't even remember what i played during the summer but it knows because yeah. it's got the dates of plays so there are some good ones. There are also a bunch of that I just skipped right through that were just like, here's some jazz. I'm like, why? What are you doing? I've never, <laughs> like, I've never Have you ever heard voluntarily of jazz? selected jazz. You like and jazz? I just skip like five <laughs> songs in a row and it's like, all right, moving on. Yeah. So it does, it tries to mix it up a little bit. Okay, so I asked ChatGPT for if uh, if there was an album, if there was album art for the playlist bangers only, what should it look like? Also real quick. When I was typing this, I wasn't sure. Would the playlist be called Bangers Only or is bangersonly.net the name of it no matter what, whether it's the URL or not? You're right. It should be bangersonly.net. I think it should be bangersonly.net. The playlist only. should be called bangersonly.net. Sure. <laughs> Do I need to ask it again? I think it, I think we can just read <laughs> I think we can just read bangersonly.net wherever it would have put that. Okay. So design concept, electrified beat. Background, deep black representing the depth and quality of the bangers. Occasional bright neon str uh, streaks darting across, symbolizing the bursts of energy in the tracks. Centralized image. A stylized neon lit headphone or speaker that's vibrating and pulsating. I said I didn't want headphones. Whatever. Mm -hmm. This would represent the essence of the music and the raw power of the bangers. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you put that into Dolly now? Well, I was just going to say, was I was going to give it to it... Tim. <laughs> We're sending this to Tim after this. I'm going to put it into Dolly. Okay, these are fire. Dude, that top right one is wow. sick. I bangers think I can only, feel the dude. intensity of the bangers. You can feel the intensity of the bangers. Can you describe Yo, it? Yo, this is epic. I mean, we kind of described okay, it Okay, so but... yeah, I mean, basically it's like this neon space area with like these lasers coming out of the ground with, with audio waves. And then there's a vinyl record with some neon headphones. And inside the headphones it says bangers only. And one of the planets is like saturn but it's also it's also a record, a record. A vinyl yeah so That's dolly can so you text cool. now yeah it's really good at text Dang. now it sometimes messes it up but it's really good at text now wow these are all really good that one feels very like spotify -y. this is what it would look like if i needed album art for bangers only yeah that's sick although if i, I don't think the youtube music one could do that no youtube music probably can't do this but. thanks for watching that clip you better hit like and subscribe or Dark Finder is going to be your sleep paralysis demon and haunt you at night. So if you don't want that to happen, like and subscribe. Whoa. Or just use that. That sounds like a threat. It's not my threat. It's Dark Finder's threat. It's not a threat. It's a promise. <laughs> Damn.